So today we are in a hospital facility uh, right here in Jiangsu. And this hospital is one of the biggest hospitals in Zhejiang. Uh, today we happen to have a 90 year student who is actually in the final year. So want to share with us you know, some experience and then we move on. Hello. Uh, can you tell us your experience uh, with this MBBS course right here in China for such a long time? Yeah, it's such a long time, in the last six years actually. And my experience is quite good. And uh, you just need to learn by yourself and also the teacher will help you there. For me, in my opinion, like, you have to be active. Hmm. At the end of the day, it's a long period you have to be here. Like the six years, right? Okay. So one teachers or one doctors who can only suggest you, who can only show the roots. I think the main study of MBBS depends inside of yourself, how you capture. That's right. So I think you can realize that really professional and really talking, you know, getting the view from a medical doctor who is ready to go out, right? In my opinion, I can't tell like other people's like teacher will make a soul or make a dream to put it inside of you to learn the medicine. Medicine is depends on you, how you do the hard work, how you learn from them. You know, you have to catch up by yourself. It's not that someone can push you always like one after the other times and they can put it inside of yourself by their own system. You have to take it by your own system. So I think the most important thing is that you need to prepare yourself when you are ready to do an MBS. You need to be ready and be ready for the course. So does it mean that it's kind of an intense course and it's something you don't have time to do anything? Yeah, what about yeah, it's something like that. Like you are not dealing with some engineer stuff or something like with the marketing stuff. At the end of the day, you are dealing with the human body. So you have to literally concentrate because we are human as we have so many parts of our body and it's a big deal. It's a deep thing that are connected one with another things. Imagine when you are feeling sick, how you probably think about yourself like you are about to die. Mm. So if you really want to recover one person from that part, you have to understand the deep things. Understand. Let's talk about some facilities. I think I saw the hospital very beautiful. Seems to what do you think about the facilities? I mean compared to your learning levels and being here to do your detention. What do you think about that? Uh, in my opinion the uh, opportunity is good, you know? And uh, I just wanna add a little bit like if you know a bit Chinese to communicate, you know, as we are in China. So if you just know a bit Chinese, not that you have to be professional talking and all that stuff, just a bit Chinese, that thing will probably help you to grow more faster and learn more faster compared to other people. So, you know, we people maximum time in those system. In my opinion, mm. that if I say to you in a professional way, just learn a bit of the language. Of the language, then this will be influence you and Teachers can help you more and more. So guys, those of you who want to do MBBS in China, this is coming from a senior uh, student almost going out to practice uh, his, his doctor. Uh, he's saying that you need to, you can't take Chinese out if you want to study MBBS. And that is going to help you to learn more. That's going to help you to you know, facilitate your learning process. Now let's come back to living experiences. Okay, so um, let's also, because with the, the new time is actually for prospective students. Let's look at I mean, uh, the process, how would you have a dream to be a doctor? How did you start to say the process? In my whole process, like, uh, first of all, I applied mm -hmm. the University of Jiangsu to come that. over here to learn my MBBS. It's a six years course of course, mm -hmm. Tini. And uh, step by step, you have to go one after another. You have to be really active with your course. Mm -hmm. And uh, in first year, basically, I done my anatomy, okay. and biology, physiology, biochemistry. And second year we did it like microbiology, pathology, it's almost the medicine stuff is same. When you come to the fourth year and fifth year, you know, that time you will get the surgery, pediatrics and uh, medicine even, also ops guide. <coughs> That's how the course is going on. And after that, from the sixth year you will start your internship, right? Okay. You know, internship it will be by the same time department wise. You can probably start with surgery, the talent medicine, then you will go for pediatrics, then you will go for infection disease. You know, the things that you learn over there for the five years, that thing, the patient and everything you will see by your eyes and you will practice with the big doctors, professor, and sometimes even directors are out. Good, thank you. But then how did you search for the university? Hmm? How did you prepare your document and look for the university? University? Yeah. Basically, I come over here to a consultancy firm, you know, 
and I came over here in 2014 so I so yeah of course <clears throat> there's many consultancy ways going right now like they're literally helping people to get admission easier to make their system of people to get admission in China very easy I think these things also important to get the right one you know yeah, if you get the right one good. probably you will get the admission very easy thank you so this is this is oh, yeah. still talking to uh, one final year with your students right here in Jackson okay so I mean Get into the other thing, but I wanted to summarize everything your whole China about the process and the process, and I did the tuition and everything. And you explain your advice to the prospect in my in my advice, like mm -hmm. China is a very tough choice, you know, okay. like why you really want to go. And uh, basically, also the important I already mentioned it once, and for the second time, I'm mentioning it like to who you are coming with the mm -hmm. consultancy firm and everything, and how they're taking care of yourself mm -hmm. if you find the right one and if you tell your budget. You know, they can find a good one for you. And basically, compared to other countries, here the budget of uh, studying MBBS mm. is not too high. Okay. I, mean, I can say like uh, mm. middle family can, can, can yeah, can, can, can afford it to be okay. over here actually. And at the same time, for staying over here, like uh, it's even less. Like if I say in anyway, mm. if someone is really good and active, just wanna focus, study, do your around things. You know that actually. Related to your life level, 1,000 yuan is enough. 1,000 yuan, we can say like 120 dollars, something like that. For living expense. For expense for one month. month. Yeah, per month. Yeah, I mentioned per month. That's good. What about certification? I know you're from Bangladesh. Yeah. What about the certification? Of course, yeah. if you are applying from Bangladesh, even if you are applying from India or some other countries, you know, we have a list of universities that our government already gave us that if you want to study MBBS abroad, you can choose one of them. Then I choose this one, Jiangsu University, as my study. Okay. So he just applied for me over here. Okay. And Jiangsu University is uh, certified by the Bangladesh? Uh, Government, yeah. yeah. Okay. The BMDC. Oh, the BMDC. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Alright guys, so I think uh, Doctor is very busy. He has to attend some other things. But this is DZ Pro. And thank you so much. I believe this interview would help you and, 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 and give you more information about MBBS in China. If you have any other questions, you can visit our website www.dzadipro.com. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. At the end of my interview, I just want to thank to DD Education Pro, who really think that I'm a reliable person. I can give a brief discussion about my study career and about all the Chinese things that are happening around. And, uh, I wish all the best for all the upcoming future doctors who want to really study medicine over here in China. It's an opportunity. If you guys choose us by yourself, I hope you guys can get the right one and you guys can prosper in the future.